I'm with Neil Bell today, and Neil, we're out here in this beautiful test area. What is the exact name? This is the North Willam the OSU North Willamette Research and Extension Center, uh, which is located in Aurora. Yeah, right by Charbonneau, and this is such a cool place because there's so many different trials going on here. It's really rich in that research. And so you wear many hats for OSU, so what do you do? Uh, I'm officially the community horticulturalist for Marion County and Polk County for OSU Extension, so I oversee the Master Gardener program as well as um, various other things like doing these research trials. I bet that's a lot of fun doing the research. Yes, I really enjoy doing so this part. Interesting. Getting outside is one of, one of the things you enjoy about gardening, so this gives me that opportunity. Right, right. And you've done other things. You've done hebes, you've done ceanothus, and so now it's manzanita, which is a cool right. plant. A very cool plant, and also uh, some of them native to Oregon as well, so that's kind of a, one of the things that we've tried to do. But yeah, uh, it's a, a, West, a genus of Western uh, North American plants, uh, evergreen shrubs, very drought tolerant, and so I guess my main interest in manzanita um, as an ornamental uh, focuses on its drought tolerance. Uh, so when did you start this trial? This one was started in 2011. We started collecting cuttings the previous year. Uh, we rooted them here and then planted this out as six inch pots in oh, wow. September of 2011. Wow, and so how many are left? We're in 2015, so how many are left? Uh, we started with 75 uh, cultivars and selections, and now I'd say we're probably still at about 65. Oh, Some that's of them pretty have good. not stood the test of time. Well, but that's not so bad. Yeah, it is intended to be a trial, and our goal here is really to establish which of the plants are really adapted to growing uh, in the Willamette Valley. Neil, you have some really interesting ones here. This one is so silver, it's very cool. Yeah, this is uh, Arctostaphylus sylvicola, and uh, the cultivar name is Ghostly, which I think ah. is really apt, mm -hmm. uh, so named, of course, for the uh, bluish foliage, which has the, um, the, the fuzz, if you fuzzy, like, yeah. on the leaves. And so, yeah, as a foliage plant, this thing is amazing. And of course, it also has uh, a good flower. These are, for the most part, of course, done flowering. Mm -hmm. The peak flowering this year came a little earlier than normal. Oh, everything was early. Um, but yeah, it was uh, January and February was the peak flowering for the, uh. for the plants in general. And so this one didn't make it, so not a good choice for here. No, this is Lester Round Tree, and there's another one just down the row, as you can see. And so it's a very uh, spectacular plant uh, where it's happy, uh, particularly again the foliage, which in that case is sort of a reddish color, but no, I think the winter of 2013, December, did that oh, one. Oh, it was in. cold. That was a cold <laughs> it one. It was about nine degrees here. So. Ah, and that's a pretty one. What a pretty green. And this is, uh, yeah, this is a uh, Arctostaphylus glandulosa. It's actually a selection which was shared with me by Sean Hogan of Cistus Nursery. Oh, okay. um, so he's done a lot of collecting down in southern Oregon and also in uh, northern California, and so he shared some of his um, acquisitions with us and this is one of them and as you can see it's a nice uh, green rounded shrub and a lot of them actually are like that uh, that sort of nice rounded habit which which I like um, Partly, be and the other thing to keep in mind is this has never been pruned. These, oh, we don't wow. prune these plants. That's so, nice and low for yeah, small and so spaces. Yeah, so small spaces and uh, no pruning requirement. The other thing we don't do here is water mm. uh, or fertilize or uh, spray any fungicides or insecticides. So our goal really is to uh, find a low maintenance shrub, if you like. And that's what we all want. I mean, we want to be having fun in our gardens. I mean, we like to put our plants in, but we don't want to really do that day to day or week to week yeah. maintenance on it. So these are intended to be <laughs> low maintenance, but of course they have to be hardy enough to, right. to grow in our climate and our climate throws some nasty freezes out from time to time. And this one I think we find, everybody knows, this one Kinniknick. Yep. yep, this is Kinniknick, uh, Massachusetts, which is the, the uh, standard, if you like, of uh, the uh, trade. Uh, if you're going to find any manzanita or any Arctostaphylos right. uh, at all, it would, it would be Arctostaphylos uva ursi, which is Kinniknick. And um, there's several different forms of this in the trade. And we actually have a couple from California. I believe that's another one right there. Okay. Um, which is about the same height, but which is far, far more vigorous. So, wow, that would yeah, be nice. The, the diversity in this collection is what's really, really kind of fun about the whole thing. There's, um, there's really a plant for almost every situation. Neil, so all this work isn't for fun. It's really for our homeowner's use at the end of it. Yeah, uh, ultimately what we want to do is uh, make available some of the better selections to uh, nurseries. And so we've done that in the past with the trials we've had out here. Uh, and they reach a point where uh, the, the, the nurseries can come and take cuttings of some of the oh, ones wow. that they think are um, most sale worthy, if you like. <laughs> and sure. so in that way, they end up in the hands of homeowners. So really it is intended to be um, an exercise that puts uh, the knowledge in the hands of the of the homeowners ah. in this area. So no, that is great. And so you know, if you love these plants and you want to find out more about it, go to your local nurseries. And so hopefully they'll be able to contact Neil and come and get some cuttings. And they'll be in the nursery trade in the next couple of years. Thanks for all this work. It's really really great for us. Thank oh, you. Oh, I enjoy it. Thanks, Judy. <laughs>